Hello, and welcome to another episode of Paul Plays TIS 100. So, um, this one we're doing now is Sequence Reverser. So, create new program. Um, and look at here. So that makes me look like a right idiot when in the last uh, video I wittered on and moaned that there was nothing new happening in the game. The very next a puzzle has this new thing here, a stack memory node. So um, sequences are zero terminated, read a sequence from in, reverse the sequence, write the sequence to out. And you know what, a stack will be perfect to, for that. You push things in, you pop them out. So what, however, I'm gonna need to do is I'll also need to know how many things are on the stack because um, you need, when you pop them off, you'll need to know whether you've hit top of stack or not. So um, this, this box here is gonna then push things onto the stack and count the ones that it's on the stack. So let's presume that in the accumulator is the current count, how many items I've already pushed onto the stack. So I am gonna save it. I am then gonna move up to the accumulator and jump on zero to like fin, which is if I get a zero in, it means it's the end of this current sequence. Okay, but here I haven't got a zero in, so I'm gonna move accumulator to the right I'm in that push it on the stack I'm gonna get the the old count which could have been three could have been zero we don't know get the old count from here add one and jump back to the start of the loop so basically what this should be doing is in this guy's accumulator it should keep the count and each, each time we get a new item it should add one to that count and also throw the value over here which you then go on to a stack now if people don't know what a stack is stacks are a fairly standard um, thing in computing you put items on them and they build up so basically the only way you can the, you, there are normally two operations you can do with a stack a push and a pop push adds things to the top of a stack, and pop removes things from the top of the stack. It's sometimes called LIFO, last in, first out, meaning that the, the item you're gonna pull out of a stack at any one time would be the last item that you put in. There are other queues, well, a queue is normally called FIFO, first in, first out. That's completely irrelevant to this, but anyway. Um, so, if we hit a zero, what do we do? Um, let's send the, so we've hit a zero, I need to get the current count back. And I'm gonna send the count down here to maybe this square here, whose job it will be to pull them off the stack. So swap to return, because remember I saved the current count up here. This will return it back to the accumulator and then move accumulator down. So this one I just wanna move up to right and this one move left to accumulator now the first so basically the accumulator in this one will have the count and it'll be the count and I'm going to use it, I'm going to decrement it down, subtracting one from each time whilst I pull things off the stack. So I'm going to put a loop here, jump on equal to zero end, or fin, this is the standard term I used before. Um, fin's down here. So if we haven't finished, what I'd like to do is um, move top to down, not top, it's called up. Move up, down, and sub one, jump to the label. 
and here as well i'm just thinking about this now after moving accumulated down i'm gonna have to reset it aren't i move zero to the accumulator because in effect my count this this is my re retrieving my count move zero to it I, otherwise it would keep on counting up move up to the right Okay, so let's get, <clears throat> so basically they've been pushed in here. They're gonna pop, 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 climb up the stack. And then when we finally get a, um, we push it down here. And when we get to zero, I'm gonna move zero to down. And jump back to the top and here I'm gonna move up to down let's have a look at that oops okay it's kind of working the first set of them if we stop it We can see here in this stack memory node that they're building up. But what happens is this guy hasn't stopped. So he's busy pulling things off the stack, but this top one still has to so I need to make him block. Okay. So he has to wait. So if I was to move zero to down and move, say, 999 to left. Move left to up. So basically, this is just going to be like a signal. So this guy is going to be sitting here going move down to nil so what that's going to do is that's just going to make this bit of code sit here until it gets a response so it it flies through here adding things to the stack when it finds a zero it throws the count down here the count here this guy then catch, catches that count says right i've got to take that many items off the stack spins around and when it has taken that many items off the stack it throws this signal 999 left um and where are we stopped? Okay, I believe we're stopped here because I made a mistake. It should be moved right up. Yes. So the output there looks like it's going good. Um, plowing through these stacks. 505 cycles. That doesn't sound great. They've normally been in the 300s, I think, so far. But who knows? Um, test three now. So once again, we can see how the stack works. Things go on to the top of it. The stack gets bigger, and then we pull things off the top of the stack. Um, hopefully. Yes, um, quite a high cycle count. Um, there's obviously some other, a bit smarter way of doing it to reduce the cycle time. But that will be for another episode, I think. Um, so, um, so to, to all those people who were watching the last video and saw me making a complete idiot myself by complaining that there wasn't anything new in the game, um, that'll teach me. Um, but thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please do drop a like on it. If you have any comments, love to read them. And if you like what you see, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks again for watching. Bye now.